One, when I went off to college, started attending um, Eastern Washington University, which is, well, it, at that time was Eastern Washington State College. It was, it was at the time when a lot of the uh, state colleges were opening up admissions to African-American students where they were recruiting them. And attending the Eastern, they didn't have a black studies program. They had a women's studies and a Latino studies that are Indian Native American, but they didn't have a black studies program. So the students that were recruited, I wasn't recruited, but I chose to, to come, started working with the administration to put into place the black studies program. Uh, and we, we won, but also put it into place, you know, have the administration recruit um, viable professors, African American professors, um, one of them to come and work, not just in history, um, but in, in all um, aspects in the different departments. Um, also put it into place with the students that they were recruiting to come to find out. Uh, a lot of their skills and stuff weren't up, like their, their writing and their reading. So putting you know, special programs into where they can get that extra help. That's something that, kind of like looking back, what Dr. King was pushing for, having access to education, but at the same time, make us relevant and having our history and stuff told. So in doing that on a predominantly white campus, it opened doors. And for me, that was the beginning of when I was kind of like doing my journey of wanting to find out about our history. And that's where I haven't stopped. When I think back at the time, you know, again, ha having a an idea of what was happening in our country. I have to really, really thank my father, let alone my mother, for pushing and pushing to open up doors for all of us kids. So the time when we were coming up, uh, a lot of doors and stuff weren't opened up for African Americans. Let's say even, even in, in education. My dad was in the military. When we, were, when we were stationed here stateside, we did not live on the base. We lived out there in the community. But what he had to find out for us is what neighborhood would be, would be the best that we can live in because who had the best schools. And that is something um, for me is very, you know, you know whatever I, is very, I'm thankful for. I think what we need to kind of like look back to, to see where our country was at the time when he started on his journey. Um, and see what things and stuff were put into place and what people are trying now to take away. Look at, you know, whatever the administration that's in today, who is ahead of the, you know, let's say the Department of Education how they really want to roll back things and stuff that were put into place to make sure that the, the students of color would have, you know, be able to get into Ivy League school, but let alone, you know, say, look, you know, on a state level. But before they can even get there, what they're trying to even take away even from the public schools. They need to, they need to start putting money back in and making sure, you, you know, even the states and stuff, put money in and really thoroughly, you know, put the money in and invest it in the education.